Welcome to my channel, Hotspot with Loveth, the ultimate spot for all things entertainment, ranging from celebrity gists, reviews, interesting stories, and African folktales. Subscribe now. Hey guys, in this video, I will be reviewing the recently released Netflix movie, House of Gar, produced by Bolanle Austin Peters, which premiered on Friday, July 26, 2024. Now, this movie will likely prompt you to research the 18th century or your kingdom, as otherwise, you might feel lost. Now, what's the plot? House of Ga revolves around an 18th century historical figure from the Oyo Empire. The movie opens with Ga, a war hero, leading his men to victory against territorial enemies. Following his triumph, he is appointed Bashanru by the Alafi, which begins his relentless pursuit of power. Now, as Bashanru, which can be interpreted as Prime Minister in English, Ga quickly asserts his dominance, defying tradition, the Oyomesi, and even the Alafi himself. With loyal followers by his side, Ga leaves a trail of blood in his quest for supremacy, with his immediate family becoming a hotbed of envy and conflict. While dealing with external foes, Ga overlooks the betrayal brewing within his own ranks. An unexpected decision in the third act of the movie leads to a climatic showdown, resulting in widespread chaos. Guys, after watching the movie House of Ga, I did some research. Now, the names of the kings mentioned in the film are historically accurate. Now, here's what I found. Basharu Gaha, or Ga, was a prominent nobleman and military leader in the old Oyo Empire during the 18th century. From 1650 to 1750, the Oyo Empire flourished, marked by peace, prosperity, and territorial expansion. Internal power struggles eventually led to the empire's decline. In 1754, Gaha became Basharun. He was well loved for his war victories and protection against tyrannical kings. Known for his potent charms, Gaha consolidated power, collecting tributes and appointing his relatives as provincial administrators. He deposed or was responsible for the deaths of four Alafins before being subdued by Alafi Abiyodu through trickery and betrayal by his generals. Now, let's get back to analyzing the film. That's the historical background. Now, set in the 18th century Oyo Empire, the film centers on political intrigue and the lengths one man will go to achieve power. Basharunga, portrayed by Femi Branch, is the focal point of this story. Although rooted in history, the film kinda offers a lackluster recreation of power struggles. Ga's tyrannical nature is evident as he rises to power, disregarding other leaders. He takes a slave, Zainab, played by Tosin Adeyemi, as his wife, causing turmoil among his other wives. His son, Oyemeku, played by Mike Afolari, is sent away to Dahomey to learn war skills, sparking a tragic romance with Princess Agboyin, played by Bridget Nkim. Guys, my observation of this movie is that in the first act, the film struggled to balance the backstories of its many characters, but eventually finds its rhythm. Now let's talk about the strengths and weaknesses. Now the film's production design is its strongest asset, with opulent sets, intricate costumes, and stunning cinematography that transport viewers to the grandeur of the Oyo Empire. However, the narrative feels rushed and fragmented, jumping between time, periods, and characters without a enough exposition, which actually made it kind of challenging for viewers to follow. The film ambitiously tackles the rise and fall of Bashan Ga, a ruthless leader, exploring his tyranny and ruthless betrayal. Now, Femi Branch delivers a strong performance of Bashan Ga, but the script doesn't fully develop his motivations and conflicts. Other cast members, including Mike Afolari, Funke Akindele, Tony Abraham, Ibrahim Chata, and many others also perform well, but are limited by the script's focus on Ga. Mike Afolari, in particular, stands out as Oyemekun, Ga's youngest son, with a notable commitment to his role. The love subplot involving him drives the third act of the film. It's also very important to point out that the film accurately portrays Ga's numerous marriages, reflecting common practices amongst kings of his era. It highlights his personal relationships as being self-serving as his political maneuvers. His profound selfishness and unstrained desires mark his relationships with his wives. This is starkly illustrated in a particularly dark moment where Ga sacrifices one of his wives for his own gain. 
In conclusion, guys, House of Ga is a visually impressive historical drama that explores power, family, and the decline of the Oyo Empire. It is a tale of love, ambition, power struggles, and betrayal, contributing to one man's rise and fall. Despite its flaws, it's worth watching for the production design and Femi Branch's performance, as well as the performances of the many other actors and actresses there that really put in their best. However, expect a narrative that might leave you searching for more depth and clarity.